Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, no, I'm just yeah. give it throwing out an idea. That's all. Not not for this. Good evening, Upper Army. Uh, December 14th, Council meeting. Can we please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance, please? Please remain standing. Uh, prisoners, a moment of silence for prisoners were men and women missing in action. Thank you. Secretary Phillips, can I get a roll call, please? Yes. Um, sorry. <coughs> Councilor Heyman, I think he's on Zoom. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Councilor Blackwell? Here. Councilor Andrusco? Here. Councilor Sadiq? Present. Councilor Feralia? Here. President, uh, Councilor Silva, I think you're on Zoom as well? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, President Burke? Here. Secretary Billups is here. Councilor Wagner? Here. Councilor Tunis? Good afternoon, Upper Derby. Um, Vice President Wentz? Here. And um, we have our, our honorable mayor. I think she stepped out for a minute. Um, our solicitors, thank you very much for being here. Um, Alexis, she stepped out for a minute. And um, Officer Bateman, and sorry, sir, I don't know your name. Kalela, thank you. And of course, we have the lovely residents of Upper Darby. And I forgot, um, I didn't forget, our treasurer, Heyman. Okay. Uh Thank you, Secretary Phelps. Um, 4.0, rules of meeting decorum. Upper Darby residents have the opportunity to speak for three minutes. Residents are prohibited from making threats, using profanity, act, or acting in a manner that would impede or prevent, prevent the conduct of the business of the meeting. Public forum shall not exceed 30 minutes. So thank you. 5.0 is public forum. Uh, at this present point, uh, the first speaker is Councilwoman Blackwell. Um, <coughs> She uh, is going to defer her three minutes to uh, the second speaker uh, to come up and speak. Um, Who's the second speaker? Yes. Oh, all right. That's um, Laramon. Okay. Uh, so and just I state your name and. One second. I'm sorry. I, I believe we have a folder in front of us. Is that right, Councilwoman Blackwell? Yes. Okay. Go ahead, so is he getting six minutes? Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, can you just state your name and address, sir? <laughs> so the name is Lara Mayonton, 87th on the tree, Westchester Park. Mayor Babber, President Burke, and council members at large, Secretary Michel build-ups and distinguished council members. Let me begin by saying thank you to all of you for this opportunity. Particularly, I want to thank Councilwoman Blackwell for the extraordinary leadership, um, not just to her constituent, but to all residents of the township, given the different committees she served. As a president and council, council members, my name is Lara Mayontan from 8373 Westchester Park. I'd like to begin by briefly telling my story, a story of resilience, of hope and inspiration, a story that is unique, part of the Abu Dhabi Township, part of its rich diversity and generosity. Eight years ago, I arrived in the United States and began my US joining as an immigrant 
at for the one land put road in Abu Dhabi. Without a family, a friend, or extended relative, I experienced the warmth and encouragement of local communities and new immigrant serving institutions like the Welcoming Center in Abu Dhabi. I quickly assimilated into the life and culture of the many loving families and residents here in Abu Dhabi. And based on those experiences, I experienced the gap in family incomes, the different social and economic status of different communities of immigrants, the effectiveness of its transportation system for new arrivals and residents at large, and a school district at flourishing heights of diversity for learners at all levels. As I assimilated further, I came in contact with everyday people with different mindset and perspective of what life is versus what life should be. I gained employment with a local nonprofit organization working in employment and workforce development. I work with ex-offenders, youth in shelter homes, low-income youth and dropouts, building the skills and confidence for sustained employment opportunities. Many of those youth I work with and many more in our neighborhoods whose voices may not be heard at city council meetings form a broader part of a conversation we have every day on dispensing the quality of leadership that serves every resident of Upper Dhabi, on equitable distribution of worth, on the need to invest in low-income families and small businesses to programs and initiatives that help them strive. Mr. President and council members, I stand before you today eight years later, graduating from the status of being a newly welcome immigrant to being a small business owner. But I also stand before you as one who is passionate about workforce development, a post-secondary career booster training for dislocated residents, for unskilled and low-income youth and adults that are struggling within our township today, <laughs> investment and subsidies to workforce services that serve underprivileged residents with further consolidated economic growth, increased income, lend higher paying jobs to upper Dhabi residents and reduce poverty. Mr. President and council members, I suffer no illusion to the tremendous progress this township has made, particularly in the last decade. And I don't stand here wrestling with its profound economic progress. 2,000 new businesses, and the relocation of several other businesses to the township, 24,000 housing units, 19,000 jobs created, and drop in the rate of unemployment from 8% to 4% between 2009 and 2019. These numbers look absolutely astonishing, but 2019 was just a year before COVID. It is no doubt that the COVID pandemic and the many implications associated with the legacy of COVID continue to impact our community today. Our township is no exception. The American workforce today is not only hammered by lack of skills, but also by a huge case low of families on government assistance. For example, in the state of Pennsylvania alone, between October 2021 and March 2022, case load of recipients on the temporary assistance for native family has increased from 63,758 to 71,531, a wide open 12 points increase. While unemployment rose across the US 
to 3.7% in November of last month, as published by the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. Job opening has been on the rise, but IQ labor shortage across America we face. Mr. President, council members. The need to invest in local workforce in Abu Dhabi summarizes the need to invest in our residents who lack the needed skill set for higher paying jobs and those we must take out of government assistance programs to innovative and culturally appreciable services that attract more Abu Dhabi residents into post-secondary career boosted learning activities. My business, Excellent Staffing and Global, has identified this need. We offer paid workforce development and training services and recently launched the Digital Learning Center for Youth, Immigrants, and Refugees. Part of the outcome we seek for the center is to increase the percentage of immigrant residents in Abu Dhabi and across Delaware County to lend higher paying jobs to specific training tracks to include training in nursing aid with distinction in certified nursing assistant and database administration with destination in Oracle certified associate. The first cohort of this training track will begin January 23, 2023. Mr. President, member of the council, registration to this training track started November 1, 2022 and is expected to end December 31, 2022. The incredible thirst for knowledge shown and expressed by many resident middle immigrant population and their willingness to gain greater skills has truly been overwhelming. However, we learned very quickly that many of these residents are from lower, the lowest end of the economic ladder and form part of the data on low income families many of whom are working two jobs for less and are willing to invest time in learning to change their immigrant story, just as I did eight years ago. Each track takes maximum of 10 participants, totaling 20 participants per cohort. Cost of the nursing aid track is 1,500 and the DBA is 3,000. Mr. President and council members, I pray the indulgence of this August body towards the following. One, a partnership with the Township on Workforce and Training Services. Two, a workforce subsidiary initiative by the Township and approved by the City Council that pays for the cost of training for residents of the Township interested in participating in our training tracks. Three, ongoing ways excellent staffing global and the township can develop culturally focused and innovative supplemented programs that encourages more immigrants to leave government assistance. Programs with the township and upskilled to find and sustain employment to our workforce development training and staffing services. Mr. President and council members, it has been a pleasure and thank you once more for the opportunity. And we look forward to a visit by the council, by the city council on to our facility located at 8600 Westchester Park at your convenience. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.